Bonjour, hello. How are you today? I'm fine, how about you? I'm great, thank you. What do you do at Glendon? I'm the interim principal. It basically means I'm the dean, but with a few other responsibilities. I hear you have a long history with Glendon. I do. I'm a Glendon alumnus. I graduated in international studies. My wife is a Glendon alumnus, and I've been teaching here for more than 15 years. That's so great. Can we have a seat inside? Avec plaisir. Ian, what would you say has always made Glendon stand out? I think it's the community. We're a strong and we're a united community. We're open, we're inclusive, we're diverse, we're welcoming. Uh, it, that community includes faculty members, staff, student, all on an equal footing. We're really all here together to make it a great academic year for you. So I've heard um, mention of small classes. You're well known for that. What does that really mean for a student though? I think small classes are really important because faculty members know their students and they know their students by name. So I know when I teach a course, uh, when I teach a class, I know my students, I know what their strengths are, I know what their weaknesses are, I know what they need to work on, and I know what I can do to support them. When I write a reference letter, uh, I don't write a standard reference letter. I write a, a reference letter that is specific to that student, and I think that gives them a leg up. So what can a student expect from their Glendon University experience? I think our role at Glendon is really to uh, make sure that our students have all that they need to succeed. And we do so in three ways. Uh, first, through experiential education. Whether it's a work placement, whether it's a particular project in a course, uh, it gives you the hands-on experience that, that, that students want, that they need, uh, that will allow them to, to meet their objectives. Uh, it's through our global focus. It's the international opportunities. Uh, it could be a term abroad. It could be a placement abroad. It could be a course abroad on our ECHO campus in Costa Rica. Uh, and then it's the bilingual advantage, uh, the opportunity to learn English or to learn French, uh, and then to, uh, from a Canadian environment, to work in both languages, to access the marketplace, the workplace in both languages, again, giving you a leg up on everyone else. And what might a student be surprised to know about Glendon? Well, one of the cool things about Glendon is that it's often used for uh, for video shoots, it's used for film, it's used for photo shoots for weddings. Now, when it comes to film, I'm sure my I'm sure our recruitment team has plenty of examples of really cool films that have been uh, you know filmed here. I I've lost track, uh, but nonetheless, I think. Uh, that's one of the really cool things about here. You, you do get all types of, of uh, you know, TV series and films that have been filmed here through the years. And I hear you have a new neighbor. Well, Drake is not too far from here, though I would argue that our 85-acre um, urban park is, is pretty darn nice too. <laughs> I definitely say so. What is the best advice you were given as a university student? So as a student, I was told, well, you have to think about your career. Maybe you should go into economics because there are jobs there. And I ignored that piece. Um, you know, I really focused on what I like and what I found to be interesting. I really wanted to forge ahead with my own path. Uh, and that's what I would suggest to students. Forge ahead, build your own path. You are the, the artisans of your own success. And I think if you work and do something that you like, um, I think it will fall in place and uh, you will succeed, you'll work harder, uh, and frankly, uh, you'll be happier. Any last words for us, Ian? I really look forward to meeting you next September. Thank you so much.